Hey guys, got my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge here. Um, you know, I bought a glass cover for it, one of the really thin ones, and I noticed that, um, you know, it looked nice and it felt nice. The problem was, on the edge, you couldn't get any, the sensitivity just wasn't there, so it wasn't practical for this type of phone. So my personal opinion is I'd, I'd really recommend against the glass. Uh, like I said, they look nice, but the sensitivity just isn't there. So um, I bought this brand. Uh, I'll provide a link in the, um, in the video here for you guys to click if it's something you want to buy. But um, I've used this. My wife has one too, so we've used it on hers. It, it's really nice. Um, I'm going to show you how I apply it. Um, two different sides um, so again what I like to do is before you do anything you just kind of line this up on the phone and you want to make sure on top that it's very even I'm going to be even on the bottom too. Once you have everything lined up how you like. You're going to tape the top just like this. Make sure sure it's all lined up good there. You can flip this up. Tape's going to hold it in place. And you can start peeling the one off here. Just a little bit and then kind of reset this down. You just kind of slide that up as you go down just looking for any dust or anything. So once you have that done, same thing, just take a couple pieces of tape here. I mean, you're just going to tape down the bottom. And you can untape the top. And then what we're going to do here you just slowly lift up side two and you'll see the screen protector start to come apart once we get it going here and as you pull it down You'll see that a lot of the bubbles disappear. So, you can see pretty good, but like if you look right here, if the camera can capture it, there is a piece of hair underneath the screen protector. And I'm going to show you how to get that out just in case you run into it. Um, you just stick a piece of tape on it. You're going to be able to lift it up. And then with this other piece of tape, you're just going to get in there. There we go, you can see that that one disappeared, so we're going to look for any others here. So then with these bubbles, you're just going to start rubbing it 
towards one of the edges. Just looking to get rid of the bubbles, and you do that by pushing it towards any of the edges of the phone. Just looking to get all the air out. Now if you have any air bubbles on the edges, and you can kind of see, I don't know if the camera can catch it. There's a few air bubbles right here. Same thing happened when I put this on the first time. Um, and when I put it on my wife's case, they just, they disappear after a day or so of use. They're kind of harder to rub out, I think, because of the edge. I, uh, and if you're wondering why I'm doing this a second time... The first time I did this, um, here's my case. This is an awesome case. It's a SpyGen case. The only problem with it, is, with it is they made these just a little too loose. So dirt and different things will get down in here. And anyways, it, it gunked up the bottom of the screen protector and made it stop bubbling, start bubbling. So might have to buy myself a new case. I love this case. It's thin. It's perfect. But it just I'll show you here in a second when I put it on that it's actually a loose fit. All right, now I'll show you how it fits in this case. Again, I love this case. The only problem is I think I'm going to have to end up getting a new one just because the the issue with dirt and stuff getting in here, but um, so this will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So let me go to charge this thing. You can see how I can move my phone inside of the case. It's just a little too loose. Anyways, all that rubbing back and forth. Allows dirt and stuff to get up in here and kind of ends up pushing my screen protector off. So, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful use on how to install these cases for you. Um, that way, you're not having to, you know, I know back when I first started doing these, I'd use three or four until I got it right, but there's no need to do that. As long as you tape it down and, and once you find that there are hairs or dust under there, you can just lift it with tape and, and pull off the hair or dust with tape. So uh, good luck and leave a comment if you like and please subscribe. Thank you.